Well, social media is changing as the election and 2020 campaign ramps up. News 4 Tucson's Stephanie Weaver takes a closer look at these new policies. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey recently announced that Twitter is banning all political ads. So what will this mean for elections? And will other social media sites follow suit? Twitter's announcement to no longer take political ads came in on Wednesday. Jack Dorsey wrote, while internet advertising is incredibly powerful and very effective for commercial advertisers, that power brings significant risks to politics. Probably good that they're getting rid of it because some of it can be really toxic. As far as whether voters are going to be affected by these changes, it's really hard to know. Yoram Schmargat is an assistant professor and social scientist at the University of Arizona. He suggests using caution. I would just um, want to caution um, people to not assume that political advertising uh, has an effect um, because that effect in, in empirical research has been tenuous uh, at best. Some people find um, that there are effects in certain circumstances um, and some people don't. The Trump campaign came out and said, quote, this is yet another attempt to silence conservatives. So will Twitter begin putting pressure on other social media sites like Facebook? At this time, Facebook says they will not be censoring political ads. However, they have begun increasing their commitment to fact checking on Facebook. I think accurate information is going to have more informed voters instead of just choosing what's in style. Fact checkers certified through a nonpartisan international fact checking network will be asked, how accurate is the story? And provide a rating. Much as, as maybe they're working uh, to, to remove the spread of political information on Facebook, um, they're not getting rid of, uh, of, of lies and, and, and false statements in political advertising. So, um, again, I think it's hard to know uh, um, whether ac we're, we're actually going to see a significant drop in how much uh, uh, false political news is out there. Now, Facebook fact checking is in the testing phase, so Facebook has already implemented this in some markets. This is expected to come to Tucson soon. In the studio, Stephanie Weaver, News 4 Tucson.